The lovely and talented Jason Bateman. Hi, that nice to see you. How nice. you been? That is day making nice. Thank yeah. you. Thank That's you. Their, their response is day making nice? Their response is day making nice. Isn't that is that? day making level. I get this. I get this. I work. I like to say I work with the nicest people in show business, these people out here. He says that every night. Yeah. <laughs> it's true every night, though. Now, listen. Listen. I, I understand you've got something to answer for. Last night, you were in a taxi fender bender oh. with Will Arnett. Okay, it's all lady, over. It's all over the TMZ. Lady Will Arnett. Yes. Yeah. Now, it Dame said, the, the way this is described is a taxi fender bender with Will Arnett. Was he driving the taxi, or was he in the taxi with you? Canadians don't know how to drive. Um, yeah, no, 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 no. We're let packed. Me, We're let, packed with how many Canadians tonight? Let me. This is not the night. This and is not gotta, the night. You got to let me finish. Go ahead. Says Will Arnett. You know, guy grew oh, up wow. there, and he's like, oh, thank God, I'm an American citizen now. He's got dual citizenship. Sure. These people know how to drive here. Right. No. Boy, you just threw, um, you just threw Arnett under the bobsled. So, <laughs> so how'd this happen? You guys are in... Under the in curling a, you're uh, in a, room. You're in a cab with him? So we're in a cab. We're on our way to, uh, to, to have dinner, and... Um, why are you in a cab? Two big stars like you. Why aren't you in a town car? Why aren't you in an Escalade? Why aren't you just ziplining across Manhattan? <laughs> Why a taxi? We're keeping it real, yo. <laughs> I think that's what, that the, kids, that's what that the kids Canadian? are saying. I don't know what There's that. you got yeah. an ad and A. You're keeping so, it real, eh? Yo, yo eh? Okay. Um, so we're on our way to dinner. Um, Will is in the back seat uh, with, with my wife <laughs> mm -hmm. um, and, uh, and, and, and his buddy. And they throw You're me up You're in the front, front seat. They throw me up okay, front. Yeah. yeah. Make it um, friends. They're, they're nice people. Um, so I'm up there with, uh, with my pal who's driving. Um, I forget his name. Roger. Uh huh. That wasn't it. Um, <laughs> uh, and uh, and and his phone starts ringing, and uh, and it rings again, and it rings again, and I'm thinking, how does this guy not have vibrate, or how, why doesn't he have that thing on the Apple phone, right, where it just doesn't alert you when you're driving for safety reasons, and uh, and I'm thinking, well, I hope this guy hits the vibrate or answers it or something. Um, but he goes down, I guess, to answer it after the fourth ring, and of course, the moment he looks down, kids, uh, the car in front stops. And I'm in front, and I see that car stop. I see that he's fumbling for the phone, discovering the vibrate button, I guess. Um, and I said, hey, 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 hey. And the moment he looks up, is a little too late. He hits the brakes, we lock up, and it slides in kind of elegantly into the back of an undercover cop. Um, but, but, so the airbags go off. No, and, that yeah, hard? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Airbags go off. Are you off. okay? Um, thank you. Good. Yes. Um, it took me a while to get there. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, but, uh, but the airbags go off, and Dame Arnett in the back, um, is, uh, it was, a, there was, a, there was an ooh, ooh, or something. It they don't have airbags. It was not my wife. No, they don't. Um, and, uh, and, and I hear immediately, um, all right, Jason, Jason, come on, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, as they're getting out. And I'm thinking, oh, well, these guys are on their feet. They're thinking, we got to get into another cab because we're late for, for dinner. We can't help this guy. He's got, you know, a good 20 minutes ahead of him for a police report and everything. Because, mind you, five miles an hour, right? The airbags did go off, but it was nothing. Um, but what he is saying is, get out, get out, get out, because he thinks it's on fire. Because <laughs> um, it's just the dust from the airbags or whatever. Um, she needed all night to get to get okay, um, yeah. And I'm not talking about my wife. Um, still Easily all, rattled, Mr. Arnett. I guess all day today he's rubbing his neck. He's taking shots of the license plate. Probably trying to get a free jacket out of it. I'm sure. Um, can, you get, can you get a jacket but, from a cab company? Oh, I think you can get a lot more than that. Ask oh. Mr. Cohen. Oh wow. Yeah. Oh. You see what I did what you there? Did there. Thank wow. You. you hop lanes. I watch my MSNBC. Yeah. Well, I'm glad to hear you're. I'm glad to hear you're okay. Thank you. Thank um, you. Well, I'm. Uh, I'm excited, like many people are, for season five of Arrested Development Me coming too. around. Me too. How long? <laughs> okay. Season five, but how many years has this been? It's been 15 years. Um, <laughs> wow. Yeah. Um, wow. Yeah, we're. That's uh, pacing. We are deliberate. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, we don't want to rush things. Uh, you make George R. R. Martin seem like a speed demon. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so what can we expect from uh, season five? Is it more? It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a real estate family with a very questionable uh, uh, father figure and some very uh, unscrupulous but attractive children. Yeah. Um, it reminds me of someone. Something. Yes. Yeah. That does sound like it's been done. And, and Henry Winkler looks a lot like Michael Cohen, yeah. as we know. He sure does, doesn't he? Yeah. Like, it's crazy. Yeah. Um, but all of this is, is beautifully coincidental. Um, uh, we're just trying I'd to I'd hate figure... to think you planned it. Uh, <laughs> well, you know, what, it, what is interesting is that there, there were some storylines that started way back in, in, in the early 2000s, uh, with, like, like the wall between uh, Mexico and the United States. Yes. Was a, was a you know, a, a dumb, dumb, blue family idea. That, of course, is now tragically real. Um, uh, there is, uh, uh, and on and on and on. Um, but we have to finish these story threads. But uh, some, some people are thinking, like, we're kind of jumping on the, 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 the Trump bandwagon and bashing him. Well, they what, jumped on his, yours. Well, whatever. Well, we were after Bush. Uh, we, we got after him quite a bit. And then, uh, crazy enough, a, a lot of the same storylines uh, did dovetail nicely. Uh, Which Trump is most like your character, Michael Bluth? Poof, uh, Baron. <laughs> it's got to be Baron, right? Because he's essentially innocent. Uh, he's essentially innocent and has that ever-present look of, how am I going to get out of here? <laughs> right? It's just this, this just b beautiful look of defeated, um, who made this horrible, horrible mistake? Mm -hmm. um, uh, the suit is uncomfortable, but it looks all right. Mm -hmm. and, um, and he's really the character you're pulling for. And he's the character you're pulling yeah, for. Yeah, it's the only one you go yeah. like, eh, I feel for that guy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I hope he makes it. Um, yeah. Yeah, no, there's, it is amazing that, the, that there are brothers that uh, I think equal ours in number. Um, there's, a, there's a crazy dad, a crazy mom, and, um, and, and, and a lot of moral bankruptcy. You've, have you met him? Have you met Donald Trump? No. Well, that's not what I... <laughs> it sounds like there's a qualifier on that, That's not what I heard. I, I thought I... I there... That's surprising to me, because I thought, we think we have a clip of you meeting him. Did you get the clip? Because I did mention something to your friends We, we have the clip, and, I, and you meet him in this clip, I think. Ish. What's I'll, happening in this I'll, clip? I'll explain. Well, uh, one of my longest, uh, dearest friends is the daughter of Robert Wagner, N Natasha Wagner. Sure. And uh, Heart to Heart is a great show that he did for many, many years. They did a series of movies of the week afterwards. Stephanie Powers. Uh, yep. Uh, N N Natasha Wagner and I ended up playing a part on one of those Heart to Heart movies of the week. In this particular movies of, of the week. What year Heart we're talking about? This is 95, okay. I think. Um, uh, there was a very special cameo by a guy who looks a lot like Donald Trump. Can I, can I show the clip? We'll show the clip. This is, this is what happened. Hello, Maureen. Oh, my God. Hello. Excuse me, Jennifer, Jonathan, hello. Oh. Uncle Don. You must be Stuart. Yes. You as nervous as I am. <laughs> We've got a lot of catching up to do. Let's get into the car. Uh, this is uh, my girl, uh, fiance, Tiggy. <laughs> Hi, Debbie. Hello, Mr. Trump. Okay, inside. <laughs> All right. I don't know how I worked another day after that. Was that just about the worst performance you've ever seen in your life? And no, I was you, terrible, No, I thought it was a good too. performance. You looked just as comfortable as a man should letting their fiancé get in a car with Donald Trump. <laughs> so, but you met him. No. What actually, are you talking about? No, what, uh, you just what's, did a what's, scene with him. What's even uh, weirder is that we, we were not in the scene together. He would not fly to San Francisco some sort of tolerance issues or whatever it is. Um, boy, uh, more airbags. Um, and uh, so I was in San Francisco, he was in New York, and we had to cut all that together. So I never actually met him, but the, the miracle of editing uh, made it look like, like we were. So he's, 
So he's shaking your hand in New York, and you're shaking his hand in San Francisco. He's got. None of you were there together. We were not. They say he's got short fingers, but they're very long. They go across <laughs> the country. Jim, can we see just the handshake then? Can we see just the handshake? Wait, Mom, you're. Uncle Don! He must be Stuart. What I, I like, you're shaking his hand before he's shaking yours. Yeah. The editing is just as bad as the acting. <laughs> Listen, so glad to hear that the accident was just a little uh, oopsie daisy. Give my best to Will Arnett, won't you? She's, I think, still in the psychiatric ward trying to get over it. <laughs> He'll be Jason, all right, though. A pleasure. Thank you for having me. Arrested Development returns to Netflix on Tuesday. That's Jason Bateman. We'll be right back with Stephen King.